Abracadabra, Hocus Pocus, Alakazam, and Presto. I love magic and magicians. Through skill and science, they amaze us with their modern-day sorcery as they entertain us with their charming delivery. Welcome to Creature Features. I'm your host, Vincent. This enchanting and joyfully petite sprite is Tangela, and the bloke with the long face is my continuously annoyed butler, Mr. Livingston. Frankly, if you no longer require my services for this introduction, I prefer to disappear into the kitchen and resume my customary duties. Request an idle bean. For tonight, you'll be at the service and potentially become a subject for our special guest, Majinga the Magician. This man is so good at his profession that he even wrote a best-selling book on the topic. He'll perform a few tricks for us, and who knows, he might even lop off Livingston's head. That is, of course, if Tangela doesn't do so first. He'll also join us to watch tonight's film, which is The Last Woman on Earth from 1960. A nightmarish tale where two men and one woman on vacation come to learn they're the only living people left on Earth. A sorry state of desperation ensues, much like what happens here on Saturdays and Sundays when the rest of the house staff are off for the weekend. So don't go away and stay with us for another desolate and spellbinding episode of Creature Features. Stay tuned. Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. Livingston, what exactly are we doing on February 10th, 2019? You know very well we'll be attending the East Bay Comic Con in Concord, California. That's right! The gang from Creature Features will be at East Bay Comic Con. Livingston will be there, Tangela will be there, as will yours truly, your host Vincent. It'll be a festival of fright, a cornucopia of comics, a horde of heroes, and a jubilee of trained animals and circus midgets. Apologies. Circus little people. Or would that be little circus people? In any case, join us in February and learn more at the website you see here. It's going to be so much fun. Doubtfully. See you there. This is your Mac. It's a good Mac. It does those things you like, the music that you love, and most importantly, the work that you do. Sadly though, sometimes it does this. Or this. Or this. But before you do this, try Tech Tool Pro, your one-stop fix-it tool to locate the source of this so that this still remains your things that you love, music that you enjoy, and important work that you do machine. Tech Tool Pro, the most advanced Macintosh repair utility ever. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. Hi, I'm Linda Blair. 
And if you want to be scared, stay tuned on North Bay Television, coming up. Welcome back to the show. We have a magical one in store for you. We've got Majinga. Hello. We've been trying to get this chap on for some time. He's so busy. It's like Vegas or something, right? There, yes, there's a lot of things happening in the world of magic. By the way, I did bring something for a tangella. It's a tangerine. A ten, tangerine for tangerine. She's going to love this. You know, she likes fruit. Yes. And vegetables. This is... Oh, it smells fresh as well. She appreciates that. And one. for yeah. our friend Vincent Van Dahl, I was wondering if you knew my friend Van Gogh. Oh, it's, it's an ear joke. I like this, you know? It's like I want to keep an ear out for you, but I'll keep an eye out for you. Please do, especially later. You're going to see some crazy things tonight. No, the Enjoy. movie is crazy. Last Woman on Earth. <laughs> And yes. you've seen this. I wouldn't watch it again if it was the last movie well, on Earth. Well, you have to watch it again with us. Well, except for that time, of course. Right, right. No, but we're going to like, we're going to trash it, right? We're going to like point out all the funny parts. Well, that's like all kicking somebody parts. when they're down. I mean, it's a rather easy no. target, but it'll be an entertaining. I, I believe this film was on Mystery Science Theater, and they, they did quite a number on it. You've got glitter in your beard. It's a result of my profession. I've never seen that. Is it like exploding glitter in your face? I think it's one of the new genders. I'm not sure, but you it know, does I, help the magic. I think this man has topped me in best dressed on the set. He's got it. All right, well, we're going to go to the movie, but when we come back, we're going to learn more about you. We're going to do some tricks and uh, see this movie, right? Absolutely. Let's have a magical time. Oh, my goodness. You know, this house is made of wood. You stay with us. You stay with us. We'll be back soon. you wanted to see Puerto Rico. Well, this is part... It's the part you wanted to see, Harold. Yo te lo tengo. Yo tomo cinco. Lo tomo. Aquí están los diez que le debo, señor. Harold! Harold! Martin, you're early. You're late. Then you're in trouble, remember? Oh, I haven't seen today's. Thank you. Boy, they really make me sound bad. Indicted. You know, that word really gets me. 
sounds like it really means something. Maybe it does. Harold, really, you ought to worry a little bit about this. I never worry, Martin. I hire brilliant young lawyers like you to do that for me. Oh, you want to make a bet? This is the last fight. No, thanks. Well, I do. There goes my bookie now. Cigarette. I'm Ev Gern. Harold's wife? Occasionally. Thank you. I fail to see the point of two animals clawing each other to death around a ring. I'm with you. Hey. These bookies are a bunch of cheap crooks. What happened? Did you meet your match? <laughs> I said cheap. Oh, have you two met? We introduced ourselves. I got married between trials. Martin and his firm defended me the last year when the same thing happened. It's the government's idea of a, an annuity. Every year they sue me. It's called the Harold Gurn Vacation Fund. I bet that one. You bet that one? That one. You'll win. Oh! And what is it? I spilled my drink. I have to change. Okay, huh? Okay. You wait here. I'll be right back. I gotta collect my bet. And we'll find a place to talk. Then we'll find a place to talk. Come in. Hi. I, uh, see you changed your dress. Mm-hmm. Join me, won't you? I'd like to, but I, uh, I have to pick up Harold's briefs. Martin, how do you like your work? In fact, how do you like your life? I like it, Mrs. Gurn. Which, your work or your life? Both. Is there a difference? I think so. Harold doesn't. Mrs. Gurn, I, uh... Could you tell me where Harold has those briefs? I think I have a captive audience. Did anybody ever tell you you look like a Martin? That's nice to know. More and more, you look like a Martin. a long way down from there. You're not much of a gambler, are you? I think you could make anyone look conservative if you wanted to, Mrs. Gurn. I think I'm going to get morbid. Point of fact, I think I have a death wish. In point of fact, you'll get your wish unless you come down from there. We are not amused. Watch the wine. If I'd done that, I wouldn't be here now. Don't you think you've gone far enough? Nonsense. There isn't enough. I've so little to say, and nobody will listen. Harold, God bless him, has a pretty selective ear. Please understand, this isn't my usual manner of meeting. I understand. Thank you, Mrs. Kerr. Evelyn? Evelyn. 
Traveler. Guests of the show stay at the Flamingo Conference Resort and Spa in Santa Rosa. Experience your favorite horror, comedy, and science fiction films of the 70s, 80s, and 90s on the big screen with the cult film series at Roxy 14. Double features Thursdays at 7 p.m. Visit us on Facebook for more information. Did you know dragging chains can spark a wildfire? Only you can prevent wildfires. Hey, this is Tiny Lister. You're watching North Bay TV. Hanging out with the best television station in the world. Y'all wait for the new Friday, Zootopia, and the new film I did with James Franco. Get that camera out of my face. I'm Vincent, this is Tangella, and we just want to remind you we've got a wonderful website. It's at creaturefeatures.tv, and at that location we've got things like previous episodes, our merchandise, we've got photographs of the entire gang, including Tangella and her hideous friend. So be sure to come see our site. You'll love it. Welcome back to Creature Features. We are still watching The Last Woman on Earth, but we're with Majinga and we've also got his assistant, Jeannie. She's most lovely and she's sparkly like you, which is, uh. <laughs> it's, no, you know, sparkling people, I don't think we've ever had sparkling people on this show. It's a first. It's a Creature Feature first. It only took us 112 episodes, but uh, the movie. So uh, nothing's happened except for this horrid, Absolutely grotesque rooster fight. Yes, a uh, good choice of words in that. Um, mm. Very uh, un-PC according to today's standards. Well, no, I think even back in those days it would not be. You know, I like chickens. I like they, all kinds of animals. They provide us with food and eggs and feathers. Right? They do. As, as a matter of fact, one of the most popular things in our travels when we went to Japan was the origami, but they would make little swans out of pieces of paper. Right. Have you ever seen those? No. Well, let me show you. Do you have oh, a little piece of paper? Nice she's got one because she's your assistant. <laughs> and that's real paper, right? I don't have to like examine it or anything. Well, you can, but we don't have that much time. All right. So, so it's it looks like paper. Why don't you just name any animal? It doesn't have to be a, a chicken. Not a chicken, so how about a, a Pekingese? That reminds me of a peacock, which I reminds like, no, me of a swan. I like that is a peacock, it is. Yeah. It's very peacock -like. All right, tell you what, why don't we just skip all of this and make an egg? Oh, I like that better. You, he's playing off my chicken statement, roosters. Which came first, Vincent? The dinosaur or the egg? I don't know. Well, you might be wondering what kind of egg this is. 
I don't know. I assume it's a hen. I don't know. I think I might hear something else inside. Let's see what kind of creature we can make on creature features. Oh my goodness. I was right, almost. It's almost like a dinosaur. It's a, it's a real snake. Well, welcome to the world of magic with Look Majinga the Magician, the fleet snake. Genie, and our friend Caduceus. Oh, can I? May I? Please. Hello, Caduceus. He's hungry. Oh, he's hungry. What does he eat? Well, he doesn't eat don't eggs. Say, <laughs> don't say former British pop stars because it won't work. Oh, he's so lovely. Oh, my goodness. I love snakes. And I don't like worms, though, but I, I, I love snakes. They're so friendly. And he's... he's He's licking my microphone, so if you hear strange sounds, this is what it is. I oh. did think I heard a hiss. Right, so the egg is now the snake. This is wonderful. That's why they call you Majinga the Great, right? That's absolutely right. All right. Well, let's get back to this film. And I'm gonna, oh, what's please. his name again? That is Caduceus, the Caduceus. last snake on oh Earth. Oh my God, he's so sweet. All right, we're going to uh, get back to the film, and we're going to come back with more magic. You guys stay with us. Give me a kiss. Oh, <laughs> he doesn't want to do that. <laughs> How are you feeling this morning, sunshine? All right. Ah, don't be an old grouch. What could be better than mixing a little pleasure with business, huh? Ev, don't you be an old grouch. I'll tell you what, we'll take a little morning cruise, a little morning dip, a little breakfast and business, more or less in that order. Did you look over those briefs? Harold, of course I looked over those well, briefs. Am I innocent or am I guilty? Of course you're not guilty, Harold, that's not the point. I mean, you may have stretched the law a little bit, but you're not guilty. Besides, even if you were, you know you'd never go to jail. As long as you keep your money. Martin, you don't understand. I like making money. Harold, how about a swim? Good. Martin? No, thanks, Harold. Oh, come on, I insist. Wash some of the meanness out of you. Besides, I've got some diving equipment you ought to try out. Manuel, we'll stop here. Come on, Martin. Let's go. We'll change. <laughs> Not to. How? How? 
Oh, looks like I'll have to carry both of you. Night, night. Something's wrong. Put your mask back on. Maybe we come up too fast or something. Leave it on till we get back to the ship. Manuel, give us a hand. Where is he? Come on. Come on. He couldn't breathe. Martin? Martin! There's something in the air if you breathe it. How long are these tanks good for? An hour. Do you have any spares? Get them. I'll try the radio. Leave the tank on. DF calling San Juan Harbor. San Juan Harbor. Harold, there's nothing. We gotta go back to town as soon as we can. I'll get it started, you take care of Evelyn. Can't get it to fire. Are they wet? I don't think I'll get it started. Let's take the spare tanks and row to shore. We're not too far from town, then we'll figure out what to do there. Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Welcome to the Flamingo Hotel in Northern California's beautiful Sonoma County wine country. The hotel was built in 1957 to mirror the image of the original Vegas Flamingo design. It's always been the area's favorite resort because of its amenities and its strong connection to the glamour of Hollywood and Las Vegas. The Flamingo Conference Resort and Spa offers 170 guest rooms. It includes 14 suites and executive king accommodations. From all of us at the Flamingo Hotel, we thank you. I look forward to seeing you soon. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. Hi, I'm Patricia Quinn, and you're watching North Bay TV. Stay tuned. This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Not now. Stay tuned.
Welcome back to Creature Features. Mr. Majinga the Magician has stepped into the organ room to prepare a very large trick. It's going to be a surprise, right? She was peeking at what he was doing, so I told her to come here and do letters with us, right? Because that's what we do. Right. All right, what do we got today? This letter is from Tammy Faulkner in Cocoa Beach, Florida. And she goes, hi, Creature Features. Can you feature the Star Wars movie Last Jedi on your show? I don't think we could afford that, could we? I know it's somewhere here on Netflix, but it would be far more convenient for me if you just showed it rather than me to have to contend with Netflix goofy menu system. Thanks, Tammy Faulkner. Uh, Tammy, you will never see that film on the show because we are too broke to show it, but we'd like to, it'd be nice. Right. And what else do you have for me, Mr. Livingston? The cards, huh? Ah, oh, card, look at this. Oh, this is cute. It says, maybe there was a creature stirring after all and it shows a mouse stirring. Did you, look, Tangela, look. She likes mice. All right, and in it, oh, there's all kinds of stuff. There's an envelope and Oh, my, oh, this is, oh, this is, you're going to like this. Dear Creature Features crew, uh, this is from Amy and Merle Kessler, and she goes, uh, Dear Creature Features crew, greetings from Oakland. It's Oakland, California, right? Probably. One would hope. We adore the show and watch it every week on Coffee TV. Yes, it's Oakland, California. The enclosed is a small token of our appreciation we couldn't believe there is a tomato variety that shares its name with our favorite angelic sprite from hell. Ew. Perhaps they'll be killer tomatoes. Love always, Amy and Mel Kessler. Look, these are tomatoes, and uh, the brand, or the flavor, or the species, this species is called Tangella. Look, it's got your name. She's going to grow those, you know. And yes, they will be killer tomatoes from indeed someplace bad thanks for writing amy next up last letter last one last one this one is from gerald marcello in laramie wyoming so have we gotten for one from wyoming yet no all right all right he goes uh, hey vince your show is okay your band was way better I only watch Creature Features because Tangella is weird. Oh, you're right about that. I wrote a poem for you. There once was a man named Vince who sits in his chair like a prince. He was once in a band, but then he got canned and he hasn't done anything since. Shut up and play your guitar, Gerald Marcello. Look at him. You've made his day, Gerald. Well, for, let's get one thing straight. I quit the band. I, I was not canned, right? You remember, I quit. I, I filed a letter of resignation, so that's not canned. Anyways, uh, thanks, I think, for writing Gerald, and thank you, Livingston, for not screening mail again. My pleasure. Right. All right, if you want to write us a letter, you could do it in your email device by using this address here. Or if you'd like to send something in the post like tomato seeds, you would use this address here. Either one gets to us and we love getting mail from you. But first, let's get back to the last woman on earth. And when we come back, Majinga is going to have a surprise for us. They keep on playing the same record on that thing. Why don't they at least advertise or something? How much time we got left on these tanks? 20 minutes. We'll never make it to town by the not by the beach. Let's cut straight through the jungle and try it. At least we'll satisfy our curiosity. Hal, please. Shut the 
thing off? I can't have if anything comes through. We've got to hear it. Harold, we got to take these things off now. Martin, if we do... It doesn't matter. They're empty. To hell with it. Ev? Come on, hon. What are you doing? Harold! Harold! What is it? Martin, answer me. Martin, answer me. Martin, will you stop sniffling the flowers and answer there's me? There's air, Harold. Well, of course there's air. No, not of course. The match wouldn't light, now it would. Something took the oxygen out of the air and now it's back. But why, Martin? Why now? Green leaves. Green leaves. This stuff gives off oxygen. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm a little dizzy. I guess there's still not much air. Martin, what about the town? I guess we'd better take a walk over there and see how bad things really are. Take it slow. If we're not careful, we could pass out again. Okay, let's go. Take this one and go back to the hotel. Come on, Ev. No, I won't move. I won't move. Not about to see anymore. I won't move. Ev, come on. I won't, Harold.
Operator? 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 There's nothing. We've got to do something, Martin. I gotta have a drink. Styling for the show is provided by Restoration Hair in Santa Rosa. Experience your favorite horror, comedy, and science fiction films of the 70s, 80s, and 90s on the big screen with the cult film series at Roxy 14. Double features Thursdays at 7 p.m. Visit us on Facebook for more information. Toy Con, you're watching North Bay TV. Stay tuned. <laughs> Back to Creature Features. We are still watching The Last Woman on Earth, and Mr. Majinga, our guest, the magician, has stepped off into the organ room with some assistance to do a trick for us. But uh, really quick before we cut to that, let's talk about this film. So everybody in the world is dead. At least they think so. That's what it seems like. We don't know. We're going to see. But uh, enough of this film. Let's see some magic. Hello, viewers. Tangella, what do you have there? It looks like a cute little animal. Or maybe it was? I don't know. I haven't seen fur like this. But with the aid of my reanimation machine, perhaps we can see what sort of critter this was. All we have to do is place the lid on the front. 
Tangella, if you could wiggle your fingers right toward the device. Doesn't necessarily help. Did it go in? Yes? Let's see what this spur was if we travel back in time. Ladies and gentlemen, look, it looks like our little friend, Mr. Frizzle Wizzle. How are you today? Oh, we have yet another creature on this episode of Creature Features. Would you like to do a trick? Can you spin around? That's it, spin. Take a nap, good chinchilla. And say goodbye to our viewers. No, they're the other direction. The Magic Bazaar. Was that not incredible? All right, well, we're gonna be back with uh, Majinga in a moment, but first we gotta see some more of this film. But you guys stay with us. We've got more surprises in store. Bring a hammer and chisel. Your wish is my command. Must we break in? Give me. Probably best if we just sleep tonight, talk about it tomorrow. Martin, there's a bedroom off the study you can use. Oh, Mrs. Gern. Thank you. Good night. Testing, 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 Martin. Yes. Martin, meet me in the study as soon as you can. Martin, can you hear me? Yes. It's you. The end of the world, Mr. Gern. Now listen, Martin. I think we ought to get together and agree that we should keep that kind of talk to a minimum. That isn't just talk. Look, Martin. The reason why I called you up here is because I think we ought to decide just exactly what we're going to do. Harold, there's probably enough canned food here to last years. And if we should run out, we can always hold our noses and drive back to town for more. 
You're not making it any easier. Could it be much easier? The lush island of Puerto Rico, a lush villa, and a whole life to be nothing but a lush in. Morning. May I come in? The lighter works. Isn't that marvelous? Anybody here know how to roll their own? Evelyn, don't you think you ought to finish dressing? Why? Expecting company? Martin is here. So he is. How are all your family and friends, Mr. Joyce? Delighted you dropped by. How would you like me to dress for the occasion? Evening dress? House dress? Slip. He's going to be here one hell of a long time, Harold. All right. We're in a rotten situation. An unprecedented one. But I'm not going to fall apart, and neither is anyone else, as long as I can help it. Look, you don't build all at once. I didn't make my money in one day. You lost it in 20 minutes. Now, we're going to work out a plan, and we're going to take it step by step. If you take things as they come, if you do them step by step, we're going to be all right. Evelyn, how about breakfast? I'll change first. Evelyn! Martin, come here! What? We have company. Another house guest. Where can we possibly put him? The problem is, where did he come from? He should be dead. He could have hatched from an egg. They can probably live longer on less oxygen than we can anyway. It doesn't look good. There's going to be a lot of decay on the island. These things are going to thrive. Ants, mosquitoes, tropical disease. Sooner or later, we may have to leave. Won't it be the same wherever we go? There's always the Arctic. We may do just that. Go north. Don't you think it's a little impulsive to go north because we may have an insect problem? Now look, Martin, I don't mean tomorrow, and I don't mean the North Pole. What I might mean... Well, say, Northern Canada. Now, to do this, we're going to have to learn how to navigate. And to be self-sufficient, we're going to have to learn how to fish. Right? Right. Not only would we get rid of the insects, but things like disease and food preservation be a lot less a problem. Most of all, we might find people. After all, three of us got by here. More people died there, more people might have lived. Right? Right. You know I'm right. San Jose. Well, we're watching your show today, tonight, February 2nd, and um, me and my girl Cindy here, we watch you every Saturday night, and we're kind of curious as to how Livingston knew those two movies from your letters this evening was porn. 
Just asking. Keep up the good work. This is your Mac. It's a good Mac. It does those things you like, the music that you love, and most importantly, the work that you do. Sadly though, sometimes it does this. Or this. Or this. But before you do this, try Tech Tool Pro, your one-stop fix-it tool to locate the source of this so that this still remains your things that you love, music that you enjoy, and important work that you do machine. Tech Tool Pro, the most advanced Macintosh repair utility ever. Livingston, what exactly are we doing on February 10th, 2019? You know very well we'll be attending the East Bay Comic Con in Concord, California. That's right! The gang from Creature Features will be at East Bay Comic Con. Livingston will be there, Tangela will be there, as will yours truly, your host Vincent. It'll be a festival of fright, a cornucopia of comics, a horde of heroes, and a jubilee of trained animals and circus midgets. Apologies. Circus little people. Or would that be little circus people? In any case, join us in February and learn more at the website you see here. It's going to be so much fun. Doubtfully. See you there. Every single one of his medical bills, everything, is just all taken care of. We have phenomenal research, outstanding clinical care, and the generosity of public, which allow us to treat patients regardless of what it takes. At St. Jude, families never receive a bill for treatment, travel, housing, or food, because the only thing a family should worry about is helping their child live. Because of you. Gracias a ti. Because of you. There is St. Jude. Donate now at stjude.org. Hey, we're Quiet Riot here at the House of Rock in Santa Rosa, and you're watching North Bay TV, so stay tuned. Guests of the show stay at the Flamingo Conference Resort and Spa in Santa Rosa. And welcome back to the show. We're still watching this Last Woman on Earth movie, which is, it's all right. It's not terrible, but it's, it's not amazing like most of the films we show here. However, we are with Majinga the Magician and his lovely assistant, Genie, And um, he's put this thing on my table and it looks like something used for making cheese. And you're gonna to explain to me what it is we do with it. Yes, it's a surprise. Thought we'd add a little excitement to the I film. I love and the surprises. Yeah, good. Uh, just put your hand right through there. My hand, just yes. like this. Yes. You can trust me, Vincent. I'm a oh, magician. He looks trust. Is he trust? He is. All right. So you want me to put my hand That's in? That's the one. Yes. Are we going to shake hands through the thing? Yeah. Are you right or left-handed? I'm both. Oh, I give my right I'm arm to be hands. ambidextrous. All right. So what now? Yes. Is um, there a mouse? Not exactly. It could be used to get rid of mice. What oh, I have no. here is a no. small bed of nails. No, no, Let no. Let me show you how it works. It fits right through all these holes I that you thought were no, used for no, grating cheese. No, no, now all we have no. to do is push. Jeannie, would you help me push, push, push? Oh my goodness. There we go. And as you can see, all of the nails are going completely through Vincent Van Dahl's. And I cannot oh. take my hand out now. Well, we don't accept a lot of handouts in the Magic Bazaar anyway. <clears throat> I've got an itch on my head. <laughs> so, um, if you would remove this from my appendage, I would appreciate it. Well, this it. part of the illusion is free. Oh. The removal, the extraction See? process is a little more costly. Oh, look at this, they're exploiting me. Not at all. For you, my friend, no charge for this simple operation from the Magic Bazaar. <gasps> look, there's no blood. See, that's why it's magical. You know, I could have used one of these in grade school, maybe. Or right, he's always doing magic. He's, he's a tricky guy. All right, so let's talk about you, though. How did you get into this? Well, of course, I was tricked into it. 
At a young age, I realized my wizarding powers. I was 11 when, uh, years on this planet when I first discovered them. So I wasted the first 10 years of my life. Well, it wasn't a waste. You've obviously made a career out of the whole thing. I can't believe it here in well, the uh, Bay Area, no less. Uh, Your own television. So, you know, it couldn't have been that much of a waste. Oh, no, not at all. This is a, a pinnacle for us. Uh, However, I think, you know, n no matter what you did professionally, having all the glitter on your mustache. He's back to the glitter know, again. You I love would, that. You know, he should, he should be on the cover of a magazine, you know, or, or you should be on TV, right? One of the two. I was and on TV. He chose right the now. latter. Yeah. Right, right. All right, so what do you think? Should we get back to this film? No, but yeah, it's your show, yes. I think Jeannie likes the film. Yeah, well, she's the only woman here. Of mm. course, she's going to love a movie called The Last Woman on she's Earth. She's the last woman on the Creature Features set for the moment. All right, let's get back to Last Woman on Earth. You guys stay with us. Fish. Maybe we'll have a salmon up north, like the kind on beer ads. Who knows? We're not leaving just yet. Why? Weather's bad. I don't want to take any unnecessary chances. Harold, it rains down here quite a bit. I know, but this is the worst of it. Besides, you don't, and I don't know enough about sailing to get by in a storm. And without stars, we're dead. What kind of stars? Ones in the sky or ones in your astrology chart? Martin. Ev, I want to talk to Martin. So talk. Alone. Business? Or is this something just between you two fellas? We'll talk about this later. Now look, Martin, I realize we have problems here. Three of them. Yeah, we never did dig up that fourth for bridge. And we won't, staying here. Look, Harold, the sooner we leave, the better for all of us. All right, Martin. It's a tough situation. But we're not leaving this island until we're ready. Now, until then, We've got to force ourselves into a pattern, keep working till we go north. Martin, the need to work is inborn. It's the only thing that will save our sanity. Harold, I'm not sure I feel any inborn need to work. Now, maybe there's something wrong with me. I don't think so. And there's one other thing I'd like to bring up. This business about Evelyn. What business? This one woman, two men situation. I really don't know what to say. I guess we'll just have to live with it. You mean, uh, I'll have to live with it? I don't see any other alternative. Where are you going? To Evelyn. And so, to bed. We are married, you know, So Martin. it's legal, huh? Harold, look, your marriage certificate means about as much here as your money. That certificate is only paper. My marriage isn't. won't solve anything. What's there to solve? You really don't see, do you? Harold, in the last world, you didn't give me a chance to find out where I belonged. You're not doing it in this world, either. I'll tell you where you belong. You're my wife, Evelyn. Harold, please. You're my wife.
What's up? Where have you been? Evelyn's been worried about you. I had a date. A blind date, actually. Damn it, Martin. Can't you ever be serious? I'm being perfectly serious, Harold. In fact, I'm even being honest. All right, Martin, where's your date? Just about a hundred yards up the beach. Why did you do that? Send him up there? Oh, so I could see what he'd look like when he came back. So I could be alone with you. So he might get a little more sand in his shoe. Take your choice. I don't like any of those reasons. Can't help you, Em. You dislike him more and more every day. He means well. I know. Well, why? Oh, I guess because he's either vain enough or stupid enough to think that it really matters what happens to us. I think maybe there's a little more basic reason than that. He has me, and you don't have anybody. What do you have, Ev? Well, I'm sorry about that. But I never had anybody before. Yes, but before there was always a possibility. Well, there's still a possibility. But the truth of the matter is that uh, I want someone just about as much as that girl down the beach wants someone, and that's not very much. Unless... Unless what? Oh, unless Harold here would get annoyed enough to try and kill me. What does that mean? It means I might know I'm not really dead yet. Welcome to the Flamingo Hotel in Northern California's beautiful Sonoma County wine country. The hotel was built in 1957 to mirror the image of the original Vegas Flamingo design. It's always been the area's favorite resort because of its amenities and its strong connection to the glamour of Hollywood and Las Vegas. The Flamingo Conference Resort and Spa offers 170 guest rooms. It includes 14 suites and executive king accommodations. From all of us at the Flamingo Hotel, we thank you and look forward to seeing you soon. You sure you don't want some? It's chamomile. Listen, you are extremely terrifying. Just the scariest undead subhuman thing on TV, and I really mean that. <laughs> but I am worried that you could give my kids nightmares if they see you, so I'm going to have to block you. <sighs> so that's it. Oh, and, and tell the zombies they're, they're blocked, too. <laughs> Sutherland from Power Rangers, and you're watching North Bay TV. Stay tuned. Go, go, Power Rangers! Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. Go. Beware the Jabberwock, my son. 
The jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware, Beware the jub-jub jub jub bird, bird and shun the frumious bandersnatch. <laughs> it's fun. I wish Harold could... Where will you be, ten years from the second? Running over ice blocks, chasing little gurns. Living in a guest igloo, I don't know. Will you be alive ten years from now? I don't know. How could I? I don't want to believe that. Well, you didn't want to believe the world would end either. You don't want to now. Well, it's what I feel. I felt it in. And I'm married to somebody who doesn't insist upon my thinking about it. A thinking, period. <laughs> That's marvelous. You think. You are the thinkingest man. Is that supposed to make me feel bad? And you ask questions. 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 I think I'm going to erase you. I'm going to take my big toe and wipe you out. Dare me. Double dare me. Seems I remember doing this before. Only then I didn't have so far to fall. Where are you now, Martin? There. There. Mm. If you hold them down, it'll help. Out of the sun. You make a nice martini. Naturally. I was taught all the do's and don'ts of gracious living. Tell me about your day. Oh. Lunch at 21. Shopping at Saks. The most awful sales lady at Saks. She made me want to complain about everybody who'd ever sold me anything. Those sales ladies at Saks will do it to you every time. Where would you like to dine? Before the theater? Of course not. I meant afterwards. Oh. Well, you remember that funny little French restaurant over on 8th Avenue? You know the one. I do. I can't think of its name offhand, but I do. It really is there. Then we'll go there. It really is there. Can't you tell me the name of it? Have. Can't you tell me the name of it? Have, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Start sorting, then we'll take another crack at it.
I no longer see the reason for catching fish we'll never be able to eat. All right, Martin. What do you want to do? To look at many things, not just fish. What's the matter, Martin? You afraid if you look at a fish too long, you begin to look like one? Maybe, Harold. Maybe that's exactly what I'm afraid of. Boy, oh boy. It's certainly a good thing the world ended when it did, because you never would have made it, boy, never. Made what, Harold? A millionaire? Money? Money and fish. Fish and money. Harold, if rotten money smelled like rotten fish, they'd have given you a bank to yourself. Yes, sir, Mr. Gern. The way you made your money stank. The way you catch fish stinks. And furthermore, Harold, you stink. No game no more, boy. It's always a game, Harold. How is Evelyn? Nice? Not bad. But why not find out for yourself? That got to you, didn't it? Didn't it? Come on, let's see you laugh now. You're always mocking all the time. Mock now. You don't understand the meaning of decency. You laughing? Go on, laugh. You think living is stupid? Well, why don't you try dying a little? You're leaving. You think that's funny? You'll be out of here in two hours. Where to? Take your choice. You mean you'd exile one third of the human race? I'd do better than that, and I can't. But you know why you couldn't, Martin? Because you don't have it in you to find a reason. Not yet. Experience your favorite horror, comedy, and science fiction films of the 70s, 80s, and 90s on the big screen with the cult film series at Roxy 14. Double features Thursdays at 7 p.m. Visit us on Facebook for more information. I'm Crazy Boots Martin. And James the Red. At the NorCal Pirates Festival. And you're watching North Bay TV. Stay tuned. <laughs> Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeaturesStore.com 
the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. You know, friends, I mean, this whole love triangle thing in this film. You know, it's not real science fiction. I thought it was going to be real science fiction, but supposedly not. In any case, we are still watching The Last Woman on Earth with our friend Mr. Majinga the Magician, who is not in his chair because he's prepping for a new trick. I think this one's going to be fantastic. We'll see. Here we go. <laughs> You know, I think that man should like have his own show in Vegas and they should call it Majinga Does Vegas. Ooh, would that be appropriate? I don't know. In any case, we'll be back with Mr. Majinga soon. But first, let's get back to the last woman on Earth right about now. Where are you going? Out. What will you do? Nothing. What's that? A little headache. Do you mind going alone? No more than I mind going. Would you mind company? I won't stop you. Ask me, though, Martin. I need you to ask me. Look, Ev, I may not have much love for that man, but I, I couldn't do that to him. What? Leave him alone. Martin, he wanted you alone. I don't think he realizes what that means. Martin. All right, Ev, I do want you with me. We'll run around the world together. We'll take that yacht and set sail, okay? Really? Oh. Really. What'll I need? It's a come-as-you-are party. Evelyn? Evelyn? What's taking so long? Packing. You see, Evelyn? Yes. Where? Here. Where is she now? She left. How's your eye? It still works. Well, when you're ready, I'll be down by the garage to see you off.
that all you're taking? That's all. After all, Harold, I'm not the kind of house guest to run off with the silverware. I just don't get any ideas about that boat. It belongs to Ev, too. Doesn't a third of it belong to me? Yeah, but two-thirds belongs to us. I defer to your unimpeachable sense of ethics. Now listen, Martin. I don't have to let you take this car. I know, Harold, I know. Where are you going to? That's one decision you won't have to make. Just give me the keys. He can start the truck. What if he catches us? I mean, Harold can be awfully brutal when he thinks he's been wronged. People who believe in wrong and uh, right can be. What do you believe in, Martin? Nothing, Ev. I'm too civilized. Are you cold? A little. Longer. At this rate, an hour. Have you ever handled a boat before? I mean, how are we? All we can do is follow the islands until we hit what I hope will be the Florida Keys. From there, we can go right up the coast. Does it hurt? Sort of. It feels like something rolling around in back of my eye. You all right, Ev? Yes, you? Yeah. That looked like it was a body. This wheel's been sideways. We're gonna have to walk. Can we make it in time? Well, the harbor's on the other side of this forest. We could cut our time in half. Styling for the show is provided by Restoration Hair in Santa Rosa. As men tied to the earth, we dream of visiting the stars. As men tied to the stars, we will dream. Of returning home. This is your Mac. It's a good Mac. It does those things you like, the music that you love, and most importantly, the work that you do. 
Sadly though, sometimes it does this. Or this. Or this. But before you do this, try Tech Tool Pro, your one-stop fix-it tool to locate the source of this so that this still remains your things that you love, music that you enjoy, and important work that you do machine. Tech Tool Pro, the most advanced Macintosh repair utility ever. Tiffany, we're in Oakland at the Kraken Con. You're, You're watching, watching North Bay, Bay TV. TV. Stay tuned. I'm going to check and see if it's all right. Take me with you, Martin. I don't want Come to on, be alone. Come on, Ev, wait here. I'll uh, meet you at the church, okay? Don't. Don't. Martin, what if we were to have a child? I mean, wouldn't it be nice if we would have a child? Whatever for. What for? Ev, look, it's all over but the shouting as far as the human race goes. And there's no more reason for little Evelyn's and little Martin's running on those ice blocks than little Gern's. All that's left for us is to live without pain. I'll be right back. I'm not taking my boat. You forget. It's only one-third your boat. Where's Evelyn? She doesn't want to see you. She's my wife. Where is she? You never learn, do you, Harold? Your boat, your money, your wife, your world. Nothing belongs to you, Harold. Nothing. Where is she, Martin? No.
Come down from that altar. What altar, Harold? Come down from there. I don't see any church. What's the matter, Harold? Are you afraid that the biggest banker of all wouldn't approve? There are no more bankers, no more churches, and no more God. No more pencils, no more books. No more teachers, dirty looks. Pretty silly to stick around and look after you. I mean, Harold, you can take care of things all by yourself. You can run the world all by yourself, can't you, Harold? Ed? I'm here. What can I do, Martin? My eyes are dim. I cannot see. I have not brought my specs with me. My eye hurts. I... I killed him. Will we never learn? He didn't think so. Let's go home. Where is that? was rather disappointing. I, it was it was almost stupid, wasn't it? Almost. I, no, no it's, it's like it's it's should have been called the last couple on earth.
right? It, uh, I don't know. You know, uh, have you seen the poster for this film? No. Uh, put, put the poster up. It looks like such an exciting film. And, and what do we get? I, two people bickering for eternity. There were some fish. Fish. Could have been called the last fish on Earth. I imagine there's more in that ocean. Anyways, uh, we'll show this movie again in 10 years, maybe. In any case, Warning. We, we're with Majinga the Magician. He's been doing tricks for us all night. So if you're just tuning in, you've missed out, right? Haven't they missed out? So is this person. Oh, no. It's not something she dug up. Really? I have a gift for Tangella. You have a gift for Tangella? Yes. And she loves gifts. She well, always loves gifts. It's right here in this little bag, something very mysterious. A little doll made out of straw. Oh, don't tease skin. her. She starts stabbing if you, like, make her impatient. She is awfully close. Uh, oh, it's it a is. wicker man. It's a little corn husk doll. It looks like the Wicker Man. We can't film. say that because of copyright. Yeah, all right. But it is filled with magic. Tangela, stare upon the little straw man on my hand. And if there is magic here in the mansion, give us a sign. Hey, look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, the last Wicker Man He's on been Earth. resurrected. Little gift Very for you nice. oh from goodness. the Magic Bazaar. Yeah. She's going to insist you come back now. It's, well, don't light this one on fire, all right? She's got a thing with foodie dolls. She knows how to make them. Yeah. I just need a piece of your hair and a toenail clipping for the next yeah, one. No, she's got plenty of that. She's got a DNA lab. Really? Yeah, she does. She makes DNA. I don't know. Something like that. All right. So what have you got going on next, Mr. Majinga? Well, uh, the Magic Bazaar is celebrating our 21st year as a theater company. Very Myself, nice. Majinga the Magician, and my loyal Magic Genie have been together since 1998. Oh my goodness. Yes, you'll have to uh, enact the magic spirit for that to work, Tangela. And we're fortunate to have a series of performances coming up in 2019. Right. The first one will be at the Sebastiani Theater in Sonoma. Oh, we know this place. A beautiful, beautiful theater. We're doing right. a matinee there at 2 o'clock on Sunday, March 24th. 2019. It's a good year for magic, isn't it? Yes, yes. All right, anything else? Yes, we also will be at Laughs Unlimited in Old Town Sacramento on March 28th. That's a Thursday. Oh. And we'll be doing a series of antique magic in an antique shop called Montebello in oh. Campbell. What is antique magic? It is apparatus from the turn of the century, the early 1900s. Oh. Uh, we have items from the famous Orientalism magic of Okido. Right. We have magic from uh, Thurston and Dante and Doug Henning from the 70s. Wow. You have he's, to come and check it out. He's quite a pitchman, isn't he? You like Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus, all in our little guest chair there. All right, well, those sound like fun events, but you can't just find out about it without going to your website, right? That's right, and that is magictimeproductions.com. www.magictimeproductions.com. Dot com. Correct. That's it. Go there. You can find out everything about Majinga and Genie and all of their tricks. And I, will, I wish you the best of luck in well, the future. You. And I think, you know, this, this man has got potential as a television magician. I think so. I you, should be on TV someday. I hadn't thought of that. No, well, as of today, you definitely are on television. All right. Thank you, sir, for coming. We hope to see you again soon and see you at one of your shows. As far as you people are concerned, thank you for staying up late and watching this silly movie and wonderful magic. You know, we've got a way of balancing things around here with good guests and lousy movies. And But I don't think we've ever had a bad guest in a good movie, so... It's really not too balanced, but it, it works, right? Right. Anyways, have a splendid weekend, and we will see you next week, we hope. All right. So, Mr. Majinga, you know, with all this magic you've been doing, I just recall that quite often people say, I look somewhat like Chris Angel. And I'm thinking, you know, with those kinds of looks, maybe I should take up magic myself and be like the next Chris Angel. I know Chris Angel. And you're no Chris Angel. Mm -hmm.